Hello, my anorexic dolphins. King Cow! It is I, the X. Well, hello, guys. What is happening? It's your best friend, Ripper X. Uh, well, we are in Firefall. Firefall has lifted their NDA non-disclosure agreements and they've uh, basically opened up their servers now the closed beta of firefall was just on the weekends uh, now the game seems to be up um every single day yeah, which is great it's going to give me some time to kind of go into it a little bit more i did get to play for one weekend but it was very brief so we are going back into firefall beta and we're going to check out the game this is my first impressions Okay, now when you first uh, join in the game, there's a couple things you can do right off the bat. You can go to the battle frame station, and you can kind of pick your class. So I'm going to show you guys. Right now I'm a recon class, which is again the sniper rifle. I like uh, to stay in the background and pick people off, but uh, there's other classes to choose from as well. Uh, let me show you guys real quick. So we have Assault, Engineer, Recon, uh, Medic, and Dreadnought. I believe Dreadnought and Assault are going to be the heavy classes. Engineer, Recon, and Medic are going to be the middle to light classes. I'm going to stick with Recon because I'm awesome at uh, the sniper rifle. Now what we have over here is uh, the loadout modification terminal. This is where you can add new weapons and you can kind of uh, pimp out your guy a little bit. Or girl. So again, I only have a couple things. Actually, I just picked this up. Uh, again, this is going to be a heavy... Heavy weapon, can I even use it though? I, it looks like I have to be a dreadnought to use it. Now one cool thing about Firefall is you can literally change your class anytime you want to. Uh, you don't have to stay a certain class. You can essentially have all classes at high levels. It just depends on your playstyle and what you want to do, which is great. Now this is a huge game. There's a huge open persistent world. There's missions you can do. And there's also PvP arenas that you can go into. We're going to do both today. What's that? Holding down the space bar will uh, obviously uh, utilize your jetpack. Yes, there's jetpacks in this game. Hola, my which is friend. amazing. Someone just said a hola to me. Hola back. Hola. Again, what we're looking at in the distance is the persistent world. I can literally uh, go over there. I mean, it's not like it's in the background. It's actually a persistent world. Uh, now, right now, what I'm doing, uh, I'm not doing any PvP. I am doing some missions, basically, to level up and just get uh, some experience and get some cool items. So, it looks like uh, we're going to head to our point. I don't know if I hit Alpha Point yet, but uh, as you can see, uh, my mission is on the right. It's called Drop the Hammer. Uh, scan for resources and utilize the Thumper to gather them. Okay, so we're going to test the Scan Hammer at the Waypoint Alpha. Target beta. acquired. Uh -oh. Pressing Q, it'll switch me to my secondary gun. Changing max! But I gotta say, I love my sniper rifle for the most part. Now my uh, my jetpack recharges pretty quick. As you can see, once I hold that down, you're gonna see in the middle, uh, right by my cursor, you're gonna see a yellow bar kind of go down when I when I utilize the jetpack. <laughs> See how quickly it just uh, kind of recharges, which is great. Reloading. Okay, well, here's what I have to do, guys. Um, I need to call down and protect a thumper at a discovered resource location. We found our discovered resource. There's some Christite in the house. And uh, basically, the thumper must return with at least 50% full capacity. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to press C. I'm just going to make sure that we do have... Okay, our scan report uh, indicates we do have some uh, yummy particles to, to, to pick up here. I'm going to in initiate C again. I'm going to go down with my middle mouse button, go on my tiny thumper beacon. I'm going to initiate number four. As you can see in the bottom of my screen, the thumper is initiated. Uh, I'm going to left click my mouse. Incoming. Okay, this is where the fun begins, guys. Check this out. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. So now it's time to uh, protect the company. It's just what I need to turbocharge these water pumps. We'll have plenty of water now. You really helped us out of a jam today. Changing max! Okay, wow, that was awesome. That was like a that was like the coolest mission I've I've done so far. That was epic. It took me a minute to figure out what I was doing, but uh, we did it. It was awesome. So it's, it's cool. the manufacturing station. We have some uh, stuff to make. Here we go. Well, guys, Firefall is a massively multiplayer online team-based computer game from Red 5 Studios. Yes, it is a computer game, guys. Uh, again, it's going to be free to play, which is, which is epic. Uh, now, I believe there's going to be some kind of microtransactions where you're able to purchase, uh, you know, some items. I haven't seen that yet, though, so we will see what happens. Uh, right now, the game is currently in closed beta. Uh, but obviously they're going to be uh, mixing it up pretty soon and adding more players to the game. Now, essentially, Firefall is kind of a mix between an MMORPG and an MMOFPS. There's a lot of the elements in both genres. So it's going to be very exciting uh, to see when this game is out and released, how well it's going to do. So far, uh, I'm having a lot of fun. In terms of gameplay, Firefall features both a large open world cooperative campaign that can be shared with hundreds of other players, as well as a competitive multiplayer component uh, that will incorporate such features as uh, ladders, tournaments, clans, and leagues. Basically, players uh, can gain equipment and level up in order to fight better. Now, according to Mark Kern, the CEO of Red5, uh, the game tries its best to integrate both vertical and horizontal uh, progression, meaning that at higher levels your character is still able to be threatened by a low-level player, but will still have an advantage in equipment. Now, basically, the guild uh, equi equivalent that players can join are called armies, uh, which grant their members certain advantages and abilities as well. For example, the Thumper is a mining drill which is dropped from orbit or by a shuttle and allows uh, a member of any army to gather crystal anywhere in the world. Now, certain areas appear to be more beneficial for mining than others. When a Thumper is deployed, it will attract multiple hostile creatures. This was one of a few demonstrated examples of the events or types of gameplay players will experience. Obviously, we just experienced that a second ago. It was insane. It was intense. Uh, and it's kind of like a, it's a, it's a multiplayer co-op campaign event. If you drop that, other players can help you out, and I believe they'll get uh, benefits as well from that. So this is it, guys. Essentially, in each city, uh, there's going to be a little PvP area. And you're able to queue up for PvP. You can do team deathmatch, sabotage, or uh, a mode called harvester. 
Now, basically, you queue up for these, and it's going to take you to an instance map, and you're going to be able to fight against other players and shoot their heads off, literally. It's, it's a lot of fun. You get a lot of experience for it as well. So we're queuing up right now. We're going to jump into a game. The match has begun. Thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is RipperX. For more information on Firefall, check out the link below in the description. We're going to link it over to MMORPG.com, which has some more uh, reviews of the game, as well as the website itself where you can download Firefall or at least sign up for the beta. And if you do get lucky, they will give you a key and you can jump right into the game and start playing. I have a feeling now that the NDA has been lifted, there's going to be a lot more beta invites. Need, so sign up and stay tuned. Until next time, adios.